Do you have a Prusa 3D printer and an old cell phone or tablet laying around? You can use it to monitor your 3D prints. What's up everyone, Chris here. Lately I've been using the Prusa Connect site more and more. It's just a really easy way to monitor multiple Prusa printers at the same time, send them files, and control them. And up until now, I've done some content on Prusa Link, Prusa Connect, and how to get your Wi-Fi and Ethernet set up on your printer. I'll leave links to all that in the description below. But now I wanted to start monitoring them with some sort of webcam. Well, they have a feature that's built right in that you can use an old device like a cell phone or tablet and get it set up for a camera feed. And it's very easy to do. And I wanted to make a video on it because I don't think it's a very well-known feature. And they are always improving things, so I'm sure it's only going to get better over time. Now, they do currently support the Mark IV, the Mark III, the Mark II, and the XL with Prusa Connect. Remember, with the Mark II and III, you are going to have to have a Raspberry Pi to be able to set up Prusa Link and get up and going. Hopefully, we'll see support for the Prusa Mini very soon. So, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. I'll show you how to get the camera set up, and you can start monitoring your 3D prints. So here we are on the Prusa Connect site. Remember, you do have to have a Prusa printer with a valid serial number to be able to get this set up. Again, I will have links in the description on how to do all those things. But I've already got a couple of printers out here. Today, we're going to be focused on the Mark IV. It really can't be any easier to set up these cameras. You just click on the printer, go to the camera tab. We currently don't have a camera assigned. Add new camera. And then all you have to do is get your device and scan this QR code. So let's get our device, open up our camera, snap a shot of that QR code. We'll allow it to use our webcam. And then you can just start camera. And now your camera is up and ready to start monitoring your prints. There are a few settings that you can change if you wish. Just go to settings. You can select which camera you'd like, either front or back facing camera. You can also set the snapshot interval. It defaults to 30 seconds, but you can do 10 or 60 if you wish. There's also some buttons up there that you can use to relink if your camera gets disconnected. But once that's set up, you can just head back to the Prusa Connect site. And in the camera tab, it shows you a little bit larger view. You can download snapshots if you wish. You can also manually reload the snapshot by clicking the little orange wheel up here in the corner. And then there is a preview on the dashboard of the webcam as well. So you don't have to go to that tab. It's just right up here in front. And probably the best feature, if you go to the main Prusa Connect page, it's got a thumbnail of your camera right there. So you have multiple printers in here. You can see them on the fly. So it's super straightforward to get this set up. But one thing you can do that's kind of unique because of you're able to use these devices with those QR codes, you can pretty much set up as many as you want and view them right through Prusa Connect. And now I have two different angles to choose from while monitoring my 3D prints. And you can get really crazy with this setup. Here's a camera angle from my table cam of these two cameras monitoring my printer. Here's the angle of my 3D printer being monitored and an angle of a camera that's monitoring that camera that's monitoring my 3D printer. And here's an angle of my 3D printer being monitored with a camera monitoring that camera and then another angle of me making a video about monitoring 3D printers with Prusa Connect and cameras. It's kind of creepy. And all kidding aside, one of the main reasons I like using the camera with Prusa Connect, and I highly suggest if you're using Prusa Connect, go ahead and find a device that you can use. If you go to print history, I do a lot of printer testing and just having the history here is greatly helpful. But what, since you have a camera installed, you can go to your file that you printed. It's going to give you some stats, start and end time, but it automatically grabs the first and last screenshot that it took of that print. It, so it gives you an idea if you had a first layer problem, maybe there was some ooze or something that got left on the bed, and then letting you know that it's finished. And it will do that for all the cameras you have added. It's just a great way to have some sort of history to see what your printer was doing. Maybe you can correct a problem based on this information and then go from there. I really like this feature. And there it is. We were able to reuse an old device to start monitoring our 3D prints with a camera feed. 
Now, again, there probably are going to be improvements to some of the features with Prusa Connect and this camera feature. Hopefully we'll see live stream soon, maybe even time lapse. But remember with that, you have to have some sort of storage available out there on the web for Prusa Connect. There's a lot of different pieces to that rather than just doing this snapshot monitoring like we're doing today. And again, hopefully we'll see support for that mini really soon. So hopefully you found this helpful. That is it for today, and I'll see you really soon on the next one.